بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with tawheed and ordered us to stay away from shirk because shirk is the major sin not just the major sin but it's the biggest sin it's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates that you associate a partner with him any and all forms of polytheism to worship other than Allah or worship with Allah someone else to try to share in ibadah with Allah wa ta'ala, the creator of the heavens and earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates that and Allah does not forgive the one who dies upon shirk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ وَنْ يُشْرِكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرَ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, fi kitab al-kareem, Verily Allah hates that you associate partners with Him. But He forgives, or verily Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with Him. But he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. Letting us know that it's so serious. If you die upon shirk, you'll be in the hellfire forever. And the muhakkakun from the ulama, they say that that is in reference to the major shirk. Meaning if you die upon the major shirk, you will reside in the hellfire forever. May Allah protect us from that. And protect the Muslims everywhere and guide the non-Muslims to be away from shirk and kufr and Allah has commanded us with that with tawheed and ordered us to avoid that shirk to avoid shirk to worship him and him alone give him his rightful due subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as possible to fear him to worship him, that's his right. Have a haq Allah al ibadihi, kama qala Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith of Mu'adh when he was going to give da'wah, or when Mu'adh was riding with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the back of a donkey, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Prophet Sallallahu addressed Mu'adh Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and he said Ya Mu'adh Atadri ma haqqullah ala ibadi wa ma haqqul ibadi ala Allah He said O oh Mu'adh do you know what the right of Allah is over his servant and the right of the servant over Allah Tabarak wa ta'ala and Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu he responded by saying Allahu wa Rasulullah he said Allah and his messenger know best the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then responded alayhi salatu wa sallam by saying The Prophet ﷺ responded after he began, he, he asked Mu'adh, you know, do you know the right? Of a, uh, the right of the servant or the right of Allah over his servants and the right of the servants over Allah and he said Allah and his messenger know best then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the right of, of Allah over his servants is that they worship him and him alone Tawheed and the right of the servant over Allah and of course the servant cannot force Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and take this haq. This haq is given to the slave by Allah. 
حق العباد على الله إن لا يعذب من لا يشرك به شيء. So the right of the servant upon Allah Tabaraka wa Taala is that he will not punish him if he doesn't commit any shirk with him. That's beautiful right there. That is a lesson for us that we should strive our